Dear friends, in this video, I will talk about DNA damage and This presentation includes damage, repair mechanism, different kinds of damage, different repair systems, diseases and evolution acts on mutation. Coming to DNA damage, damage is nothing but due to the impairment in the base pairs. The DNA at structural and genetic level is damaged. DNA damage is of two types when one is repairable and another is defective or incomplete repair mechanism. If DNA da damaged DNA is repaired, that will be genetically stable. If not, either it may be defective or incomplete repair leads to genetic instability. Because of that instability, two types of problems may arise. One is cancer, that is hereditary disease, and another problem is genetic divergence. Genetic divergence may cause problem as well as it is helpful to the plants for directed evolution. The damages are caused through cellular metabolism, UV light exposure, ionizing radiation, chemical exposure and radiation errors or replication errors that damage is uh, checked by cell cycle checkpoint activation transcriptional program activation then repair mechanism and apoptosis in repair mechanism first one is direct reversal base excision repair nucleotide excision repair mismatch repair and double strand break repair that include homologous recombination. Coming to DNA damage, the consequence of DNA replication error is damage. The chemical agent acting on DNA, UV light imparting energy into DNA molecule and spontaneous changes to the DNA cause damages. How DNA damage by mismatched base may be polymerase error rate about 1 in 10 raised to 4, deamination of C2U that is cytosine to uracil leading to mismatch or missing bases that is hydrolysis of purine deoxyribose band leading to AP site, then structural damage, dimer formation, broken phosphodiester bonds or chemicals or radiation caused damages the basic requirement of dna repair repair of non replication related damage to dna must also be a priority for the cells these defects also will prevent translation and duplication of the dna by dna damage cell will die again any error or changes to the DNA become mutations which are permanent change left in the DNA. DNA polymerase does a great job but not good enough. One of the major cause of DNA damage is sickle cell anemia. It's a good illustration of devastating effects of even tiny changes in the DNA. The red blood cell hemoglobin that has a large protein component Two beta globin change and a single base change substitution causes the disease. In this, this is clearly given here single strand of normal beta globin gene. Here, due to mutations in the single base pair, Things to damage DNA, first one is radiation that is cosmic, chemicals in the environment, alkylating agents, methyl and ethyl groups added to DNA base, then DNA replication accidents and heat, uh, may be spontaneous chemical alteration are the major causes to damage DNA. Types of DNA damage, all the four bases in DNA that is ATGC can be covalently modified at various positions. Mismatches in the DNA, breaks and cross links that cause damage. In mismatch of the normal basis because of failure of proofreading during DNA replication. Breaks in the DNA backbone then cross links 
covalent linkages can be formed between the bases. Other forms of DNA damage are deamination. Here an amino group of cytosine is removed and the base becomes uracil. Deamination in which amino group of adenine is removed and base becomes hypoxanthine. An amino group of guanine is removed by a base and that becomes hypoxanthine. The base is simply ripped out of the DNA molecule leaving a gap like a missing tooth. This all deamination process causes DNA damage. This is uh, the depurination and deamination are given clearly where the depurinated sugar lead to production of uracil in the place of guanine then cytosine production of uracil in place of cytosine types of DNA damage summarized in this figure the damages are double standard DNA break mismatch adenine and purine site then thymidine dimer covalent X linking single standard break CU deamination. Coming to hereditary DNA repair disorders. Defects in the NER mechanism are responsible for several genetic disorders like xeroderma pigmentation, Cochian syndrome, trichothiodystrophy. Xeroderma pigmentation is a hyperactivity of sunlight or UV resulting in increased skin cancer incidence and premature aging. Cochian syndrome causes this is due to hypersensitivity to UV and chemical agents. Trichothiodystrophy is sensitive to screen, skin, brittle hair and nails. Mental retardation often, often accompanies the later two disorders suggesting increased vulnerability of developmental neurons. Other DNA disorders include Warner syndrome, Bloom's syndrome, then uh, ataxia, telangiectasia. Evolution acts on mutation. If we do not have mutation then we would all be the same. Any change in the environment would be deleterious to all members of the population equally therefore there would be no evolution but mutation does exit and it is supported by comparison of related organism. The gist of this slide is DNA damage is good in terms of evolutionary process where the mutation caused in the bases lead to directed evolution. Coming to DNA damage checkpoints, the global response to damage is act directed towards cells own preservation and triggers multiple pathways of macromolecule repair, lesion bypass, tolerance or apostosis. That is common features of global response are induction of multiple genes, cell cycle arrest and inhibition of cell division. After DNA damage, cell cycle checkpoints are activated. This activation pauses the cell cycle and gives the cell time to repair the damage before continue to divide. This is an advantage in order to avoid the damage. Coming to DNA repair. Repair is a simple process in definition but not in uh, true sense. It is damaged DNA which is repaired is nothing but DNA repair. If the damage is passed on to subsequent generations, then we use the evolutionary term mutation. That means permanent damage is nothing but mutation at genetic level. It must take place in the germ cell, the gametes, egg and sperm. If damage is to somatic cells, all other cells of the uh, body except germ cells is somatic cells then just that one individual is affected it won't be hereditary basic mechanisms of uh, repairing first one is removing of the damaged region that is 
through excision of damaged region then dna polymerase works on this then ligase seals the nick and this is a simple repair mechanism which involves only the enzymatic activity of two enzymes one is dna polymerase and dna ligase as i have already told that cell checkpoints give sufficient time to the damaged dna to get repaired the second one is resynthesis of dna this is by the process of polymerase and ligation with the help of ligase enzyme repairing damaged bases the different mechanisms are direct reversal of base damage and second one is excision repair in excision repair there are three types one is base excision repair nucleotide excision repair and mismatch repair coming to damage reversal here uv rays uv light acts on this mm, to damage the dna but visible light helps in uh, reversing it this is nothing but damage reversal here dna polymerase acts and with the help of visible light photo reactivation with the enzyme dna photolyase this captures energy from light and through visible light the damaged dna will be converted to normal one general repair mechanism needed either reverse damage example photo reactivation or excise dna and patch repair the region photo reactivation was discovered in actinomycetes in 1949 here uv damage leads to cell death and bright visible light with photolysis activity helps in survival third step is photolysis that is uh, encoded by phr a and phr b genes in e coli recognizes desorption at dimer light activates photolysis and dimer is cleaved coming to the second one dna repair by base excision a base specific dna glycosylase detects an altered base and removes it ap endonuclease and, and uh, phos phos phosphodiesterase remove sugar phosphate in the third step then dna polymerase fills and dna ligase seals the gap here in the figure it is given clearly the damaged base are worked with dna glycosylase on ap site ap endonuclease works and that entire portion is removed and that gap is filled by dna polymerase 1 and the that the bases are sealed by dna ligase that is nothing but dna repair by base excision coming to nucleotide excision repair a large multi enzyme compound scans the dna strands for anomalies upon detection of nucleus cuts the strand on both sides of the damage here it is given the both sides damaged portions are identified dna helicase removes the oligonucleotides these oligonucleotides at the both adjacent regions are removed with the help of helicase enzyme and in the four, fourth uh, figure you can see the gap is repaired by dna polymerase and dna ligase enzyme the third kind is nucleotide excision repair this differs from base excision repair in several ways like it uses different enzymes like uva uvr a b like that even though there are may, may be only a single bad base to correct its nucleotide is removed along with many other adjacent nucleotide there is nucleotide excision repair removes large patch around the damage in nucleotide excision repair a multi subunit enzyme hydrolyzes two phosphodiester bonds one on either side of the dis distortion caused by lesion resulting in gap filled by dna polymerase one and finally dna ligase seals the nick third one is mismatch repair 
mismatch repair deals with correcting mismatches of the normal bases that is failure to maintain normal base pairing that is AT and GC pairing. Recognition of the mismatch requires several different proteins including one encoded by M uh, dominant gene MSH2. Cutting of the mismatch out also requires several proteins including one encoded by gene MLH1. The two genes are MSH2 and MLH1. MSH2 is involved in recognition and MLH1 is uh, involved in giving proteins for cutting. Coming to the description of mismatch repair, to repair mismatched bases, the system has, system has to know which base is the correct one in E. coli. This is achieved by a special methylase called dam methylase which can methylate all adenines that occur within 5-GATC sequence. Immediately after DNA replication, the template strand has been methylated but the newly synthesized strand is not methylated at thus the template strand and the new strand can be distinguished fourth one is recombination repair this repair is much more complicated than excision repair and requires many more gene products the products of a number of these repair genes are induced by radiation damage and therefore this type of repair requires protein synthesis before it can function because of its complexity this type of repair makes mistakes that means in recombinational repairs there are more chances of committing mistakes the recombinational repair of excision gaps in e coli here uv radiation induced lesions are produced in both the replicated and unreplicated portions of the genome the gaps produced by excision in the unreplicated portion are repaired by the classical method of nucleotide excision repair and the gap produced in the replicated portion of chromosome are repaired by a recombinational process that require both RecA and RecF genes. Here, mud test protein of E. coli is responsible for recognizing and binding the base pair mismatching and recruit other key proteins like MUT H and MUT L required for repairing the mismatch sites. ATP is the general um, source for energy in this repair mechanism. Coming to excision repair. This is summarizing the excision repair, how it happens. Proteins involved in repair mechanisms. In base excision repair, DNA glycosylase, AP endonuclease, DNA polymerase 1, and DNA ligase. In nucleotide excision repair, UVRA, UVRB, UVRC, poly DNA polymerase 1 and DNA ligase. In mismatch repair, DAM methylase, MUT S, MUT L, MUT H, exonuclease, DNA helicase 2, single strand binding protein, DNA polymerase 3 and DNA ligase. That means in mismatch repair, more number of enzymes and proteins are involved. The source hypothesis, this is a general mechanism in the lower organisms. Redmin in 1974 originally proposed an inducible repair system. It requires RecA and a regulator system repair normally at low level. Lex A gene identified as a regulator. It recombined normally but no increased UV mutagenesis. Higher doses required. Low dose means error free repair. High dose means error repair induced. Lex A is an autoregulator repressor. Represses level of activity of many genes. It is collectively called DNA inducible or DIN genes. It includes UVR, A, B, C, D and SFI etc. Rec A protease activity is uh, very important here. It cleaves Rex A also lambda CI repressor 
inducing lysis importance of repair mechanism dna is the only biological macromolecule that is repaired all others are replaced more than 100 genes are required for dna repair even in organisms with very small genome cancer is a consequence of inadequate dna repair as i have already discussed this before majority of dna damage affect the for primary structure of double helix dna repair is dependent on factors like cell type cell age extracellular environment and uh, chemicals in the exterior environment a cell that has accumulated large amount of dna damage can enter one of the three possible status first one is an irreversible state of dormancy known as senescence second is cell suicide it may be called as apoptosis and third is unregulated cell division which can lead to cancer the three causes of Mm, severe DNA damage is senescence, apoptosis and cancer or the uncontrolled cell division. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you liked don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.